to is Textbook Gone Bad, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install WordPress onto your website. Now, for those of you who don't know what WordPress is, WordPress is basically a website script that transforms your website into a blogging type of website. So, today we're going to be using two websites WordPress.com and WordPress.org. And, uh, yeah, so first of all, WordPress.com is for people that want a blank dot wordpress dot com domain name the blank being whatever you want it to be and uh, it's for people that don't want to buy a domain and hosting account but for people that already have a domain and hosting account then you're gonna use wordpress dot org to download wordpress and upload it to your um, to your hosting account so I'm gonna start off with wordpress dot com just because most of the people watching this tutorial will, will want to have a blank dot wordpress dot com domain name uh, because they don't have an actual domain name yet so I'm gonna start off with that and then I'm gonna go over to wordpress.org and I'll have the time somewhere so you guys could just skip to wordpress.org just in case you want to um, just in case you don't want the blank dot wordpress dot com domain name so let's get started wordpress.com is the website there's the link will be in the video description just click there go to wordpress.com and uh, just click sign up now it's really really simple it's just like signing up on any other website uh, my username is going to be TSGB blog uh, password obviously not telling you guys that and actually I'm just going to complete this um, the registration and then I'll meet you guys in a second and there we go I just completed the registration it's basically um, a normal registration it, you do need to put a valid email address because they are going to check and uh, you need to confirm your email and once you're done signing up just go ahead and return back to wordpress.com put in your username and password and just press log in now when you're logged in you should see something like this and it'll show you your dashboard on wordpress.com but you want to enter your actual dashboard for your own website so click my dashboard over here once you click my dashboard you should see something that looks almost exactly or, or exactly like this this is your dashboard for your website where you can put new posts new pages monitor the comments monitor the users on your site and all the stuff all the magic basically happens over here yes you could upload themes and plugins and all that type of stuff but that's for another tutorial i do have the tutorials up for that too so just go ahead and check that out uh, go to textparkombat.com. That'll redirect you to my YouTube channel, and you can check out the rest of my WordPress tutorials. So this is as far as we co go for WordPress.com, and I'm gonna close this and start with WordPress.org. Actually, if you do have your own, um, if you do have your own domain name and hosting account, you don't even need WordPress.org because there's a much simpler way of doing it. Go ahead and um, log into your control panel for your domain and hosting account. This is my control panel for my website at octogeek.com. And yours should probably look something like this too. And you want to just scroll down and use this program. Fantastico Deluxe. Click it and it will open it up. And what Fantastico does is basically a program that lets you install various things onto your website. It has blogging software like WordPress, which is what we're going to be using it for. And it has content man management software like Joomla. Um, it has discussion boards, forums like SMF forums, BB forums. And it has a bunch of other stuff that you could use. But in this case, today we're using it for WordPress. So click on the WordPress button right there and it will give you a short description of WordPress and it will give you the link to the support form and it will give you a link for a new installation that's you, what you want to press click new installation and that's going to ask you all this information uh... it's going to ask you the installation location you want to leave the directory blank so it installs it on your main website so whenever type whenever someone types in your website name and presses enter they'll be redirected to your wordpress account automatically but since i already have a wordpress account going on on my main website i'm going to install it on a new directory named blog and then the admin access data go i'm just going to go ahead and type that in uh... i'll do tsv blog password password that sounds good and then the nickname I'm gonna set it as TSGB blog and the email and the site name and the site description uh, just put it as TSGB blog again and press install WordPress shouldn't take too long and just like that it'll tell you it'll confirm the data and then you press finish installation and this shouldn't take too long either and there you go 
you are done with installing WordPress and now when you go to your website octogeek.com slash blog or just your website you have your WordPress account set up now as you can see right here we have this blog set up and let's compare this to the blog we set up on WordPress on wordpress.com so let's go to tsgb blog dot wordpress dot com press enter and just like that it's almost exactly the same the only difference with wordpress is that you have this little bar at the top but that's the only difference there is compare this to this is the same thing except on different domain and hosting servers so that is it it's as simple as that to enter your um your admin administrator uh, section your dashboard for this you could just scroll down and on your meta right here the meta just click login and just type in your username and password and press login and then it will take you to your dashboard right there or you could just um, type in your website slash WP dash admin and then log in it will take you to the same page you log in and then you'll end up over here again and that is pretty much it for this tutorial that's as far as we go for wordpress.org 2 and that's it so uh, hope you guys learned something today hope this uh, all this was helpful to you and if it was please check out my youtube channel at techsportcombat.com that will redirect you to my youtube channel check out my videos and subscribe if you like them and also please check out my wordpress blog over at octogeek.com uh, it's basically a graphic designing blog where i'll post tutorials and inspiration and sometimes even some giveaways so that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.